hi Virgo Sun Moon and Rising this is going to be your general reading for October 2023 please know that the messages may not resonate with everyone so I suggest you check back to your moon and rising sign I have with me today the radiant white deck the La Vida Sabila and we'll wrap the reading up with an oracle oracle card I'm not sure exactly what the story of the cards are going to be so I have three oracle cards I have the psychic oracle heart tarot I have the psychic tarot and then we will do uh, the Golden Nostradamus. It all depends on what the reading is about. So let's go ahead and get started. I have already done some meditation and shuffling on your sign and glyph. Hang on a second. I'm not quite in my chair right. I, I switched chairs because the other one has wheels on it but they don't lock and it's difficult for me to get out of it sometimes okay I'm going to put another another rifle and shuffle on the deck and we will get straight into the reading and let's hope my rifle is good Yay. I've been practicing that for a while. Now, let's cut the deck. And here we go. The Three of Cups. The Ace. I'm sorry. The King of Wands. Uh, King of Swords. The Five of Wands. Next row. The Ace of Wands. The Two of Pentacles. The Queen of Swords. So, let me stop right here and say that even though this is a Virgo reading, if your partner is a King of Swords, then you would show up as a Queen of Swords. But this can also be about your intellect, the way you uh, behave. Are you a truth teller? Are you a logic person, a logical person? Do you use reason and words or sharp tools to get the job done? For instance, you can be a writer, an editor, a researcher, a oral surgeon, a dentist, a, a regular surgeon. Um, you can be a policeman or a soldier. Anywhere that keen intellect or sharp tools are needed to get the job done and that includes uh, things like being a chef the fool the sun and the chariot wow that ends in big energy Okay, what do I have? Two swords, a cup, two wands, and three major arcana to end the reading. 
and one pinnacle in the center. What is the overall energy that could be coming in for the month of October? It is the Eight of Pentacles. Now, the Three of Cups is about, it shows three women celebrating something. Uh, that this may be happening in the month of October because there is a pumpkin there at the bottom of the uh, photograph, a uh, picture. But the Three of Cups represents uh, some kind of universal celebration, a marriage, a marriage proposal, um, a baby shower, graduation it's some kind of universal event let me put it that way now let me move down to the two of Pentacles because that is an important card and all of this around is influencing the two of Pentacles the two of Pentacles is a two and therefore it represents choices options dualities uh decisions a crossroads even in opposition whether you are opposed within yourself about something or someone is actively opposing you it says that you are handling two situations at once this may be even you're working two jobs at the same time it can be robbing Peter to pay Paul and balancing out two uh, different things and handling it with ease but you see these ships being tossed in the back that could mean that you are all upset or at sea about something it could mean that you have to watch your finances for a bit but because I have the king and queen here and the five of wands it could mean that there is a possibility of at least three or more people involved in this situation the king of swords can be his uh, job is exactly like the Queen of Swords, all the jobs that I mentioned before, and they have the same qualities in terms of reason, logic, uh, being objective, being somewhat of a truth teller. Um, the Queen of Swords is known as Sometimes the, the, the divorcee queen and they say that she is bitter. I don't always buy that the divorcee is bitter, but she does have life experience to share. And she can come across kind of hard uh, or different or difficult. Um, because of her life experiences the king is not so much a difficult man he can be he just he don't put up with no foolishness and he calls it like he sees it because it is based on reason and logic Libra and Aquarius now coming over to the five of wands that could be arguing it could be dysfunction uh, it can be heated arguments disagreements uh, fights somebody playing head games like saying one thing but doing another fighting like children or fighting over children I don't see 
necessarily a, a break between these two people but that doesn't mean that you don't have any disagreements the ace of wands is just that is an ace and it, aces are always yes the answer is yes what do I think about this ace is the ace of wands to me represents uh, your desire your passion your determination and your focus cups only represent emotions swords represent thoughts beliefs perceptions ideas and communication the coins simply represent either finances or the doing of something but across the bottom I have three major arcana and this full card is saying have trust and faith in the universe that's first it can be going on a trip taking a journey it can be new experiences or new fresh new energies or new experiences adventures await here with the Sun card I feel that there is an, an announcement coming you see the red uh, banner a banner is an announcement they usually hearken to announcement announcements but also the lady in the three of cups has on a red cape so to me this might be news or announcement about something that is hap happening to her or going to happen to her the Sun card is one of the most positive cards in the deck growth expansion abundance happiness uh, it contains all of the things it is also a yes card just like the ace of wands here with the seven this is the chariot now the seven cautions you to think before moving there is implied moving here a journey or a trip and this could be by car during the summer the summer month is almost over or it is over but you can still take a trip um, the seven represents a moment of pause stopping to think about what you're going to do before you move ahead I, I'm picking up that it's a trip but I don't know when it's going to be the seven says you can positively move forward if, if you keep your emotions in check this is the card of cancer and it is about home hometown state uh, city property all those things associated with home or the feeling of home but in order to get to that place it requires you to keep your emotions in check it says that it will not be an easy ride or journey 
because if you look at the charioteer he has no reins on the horses or the sphinxes so it's going to require sheer will to move forward the eight of pinnacles shows a figure literally making money right this could be about selling wares or setting up shop doing business it also represents what the word I'm looking for an apprentice kind of job where you are uh, working on something and doing it repeatedly until you perfect it but it is also an eight and it can have two meanings the eight is a karmic number it means that money is at hand but it can also mean that there will be hindrances and obstacles on all sides so what do I have to look at I can't look at the king and the queen that only leaves me the three of cups the five of wands the ace of wands and the two of coins as they relate to these three uh, major arcana so the three of cups tells me absolutely nothing but it says it can represent the beginning of a successful new lifestyle and a happy conclusion it tells of abundance joy hopes dreams and happy conclusions it indicates that something positive is on its way into your life and you may also receive good news celebrations special occasions parties and gatherings are indicated when the three of cup appears and there are blessings and good times to be had positive emotions and promises fulfilled if you have experienced difficult relations with someone in the past now would be a good time to clear the air and try to establish or re-establish an amiable relationship sometimes it is about welcoming a uh, in addition to the family or home such as an animal or pet and may even be for telling a pregnancy this card often appears before a pregnancy uh, five of wands appearing in a reading tells of opposing energies which are creating agitation harshness and obstacles and shows a need to sort out things and unify may be telling you to lessen your grip on the situation as constant competition is depleting your energies it tells of learning new strategies and gearing up for new challenges it doesn't tell me anything next to the three cards these cards let's look at the ace of wands it is a number one card and it tells me nothing next to these three cards 
but it says this is a particularly promising card in a reading if you are intending on starting out on a new business venture or project as it shows the ability and creativity uh, is there to make a sure success it speaks to new beginnings and the focus is on new opportunities to achieve your potential expect indicates new ventures or unexpected opportunities which will create much clarity and excitement a new job or career is possible it also says to expect positive offers in any form of communication this is a message to accept all offer up invitations and to look out for a letter email or phone call which could herald great news accept any invitations offered whether social or work related remember opportunity can come from any source and then the two of pentacles next to the ace of wands the two of pentacles foretells of favorable employment opportunities however there is a five before the two of pentacles it implies that your energies are being scattered leading to undue stress and confusion slow down relax and think carefully about each step you take at this time allow things to flow as they will and have faith I do see something positive on the horizon and I think what means this card is even though there are new opportunities and new fresh new energies coming in that will be successful you do need to take heed about how you choose to move forward let's see if the eight of pentacles has anything to say because it has influence over the the whole spread the fool the eight of pentacles is a warning to be cautious even though things may seem to be going according to to plan don't become complacent or careless with your work or finances otherwise you will bear the negative consequences so let's take a look at basically this five of wands what is the anxiety or the anger or the fights all about because as far as I can tell this is going to be a pretty positive uh, situation of course this can't be true for everybody uh, that is why it requires a personal reading I think what the five of wands is saying it's a bunch of people who are trying to get their point across one of the meanings of this card is play although I don't really ever see that so it could be playing games or doing something um, exciting it is a five and fives are always changing energies that can make things seem tense let's just look and see what the five of wands has to say la conversacion this is the ace of cups 
in this deck. This means conversations with people, usually pleasant, positive. Uh, mostly it means like sitting around with people, having coffee or dinner and having discussions about something pleasant and positive. Speranza. This is the Eight of Cups in this deck. And what it means is, let me see. It is saying that fate awaits you. Uh, it is hope. Don't give up hope. Whatever the hope is, whatever the situation is, maintain hope and faith. Fate is at hand. And the Malinconia. This is five of coins. And basically, it is you are sad and depressed. It's not a deep depression or a deep sadness. It just says that you feel like there are dark clouds over your head. They will dissipate in time. Again, the message I think is if you just talk calmly to the person and let fate play out, don't worry about how you're saying it, what's being said, how it's being said. Just speak from the heart. The clouds will lift as soon as you do that. That's all. And so let me pull you a heart oracle card. Another chariot. It says move. Another seven. Let me read the card to you. Move. Now is the time to begin practicing to be now is a time to be proactive regarding matters of the heart. If you are looking for a relationship, take the initiative to find one. Take advantage of the many ways to meet your, your soulmate. This card is about action, action, action. If your current relationship is not moving in the, in the direction you wish, do whatever is required, required to shift the direction. You're the master of your own destiny and that includes your relationships. Don't wait, wait for others to make the first move or set the tone of the relationship. Take charge. Creating and sustaining a good relationship requires discipline, like doing something over and over again until you perfect it. It's not enough to be in a relationship. You must invest in it as well. Be present in and focus on the relationship. Give every relationship the opportunity and time that it needs and deserves to grow and flourish now is a time to focus on your your needs and the needs of your partner make the effort to maintain healthy boundaries for yourself and to respect the boundaries of others by keeping your emotions in check while rewarding relationships require effort there must be a balanced effort from both partners Perhaps it is time to examine your relationships. Are both partners putting forth equal effort to make the relationship work? Are you comfortable with the amount of effort your relationships require of you? If any relationship feels draining or it's not worth the effort, 
then perhaps it is time to move on and that very well could be because the future row here has discord anger and fight with this queen and the chariot card is leaving the um the spread so i can't say one way or the other whether this is a opportunity for you to renew renew the passion in your relationship because maybe it's not just because it is pretty positive looking doesn't mean it's going to be that way so do what you can do what you think is necessary be truthful be honest don't bicker and fight uh just tell it like it is and it may work or it could be that the relationship runs out of road that's what i have for you virgo for october 2023 and i hope that helps